All right, guys, in today's video, we're going to be opening up and installing a Magpul Hunter on a Remington 700 long action. So this is actually going to go on a 30 out 6. It's a little bit older ADL model, so no bottom metal and a fairly basic wood stock. Now this is actually my dad's rifle, and he's decided that he wants a little more modern style stock with a little bit straighter grip and something kind of a little more like his AR feels. So we're going to be going ahead and converting this right his hunting rifle to the Magpul 700 stock and as you can see we are going to add detachable magazines to the system as well and that way when he's hunting He's got a couple reloads available quickly instead of the current way where he has to top load everything. I'm going to move these out of the way. All right. So, fairly simple packaging. This is sniper gray option and as you can see it comes with rubber butt pad options for attaching your sling here uh, there are spacers for length of pull adjustment looks like the grip panels here may be removable doesn't seem to come with additionals in the channel here for the receiver it feels to me like it's aluminum small aluminum block yep that way hopefully your your actual action screws will be compressing aluminum instead of plastic um, in the front it's supposed to free float even with heavier profiles it's going to be interesting to see how this rifle looks with a fairly thin hunting profile You've got your options for the M-Lock rails that Magpul uses. And then, you may have to show close-ups, but you've got two dimples on the front and the back here. And then you've got another dimple here. According to Magpul, those parts of the plastic are reinforced so that you can drill them out if you want to attach a typical um, Uncle Mike's style sling stud. Um, obviously you can use a quick detach type stud if you want to use the M-Lock rail to attach it. I know ultimately we're going to want to be able to put a bipod on this so we'll have to decide if we want to do an M-Lock attachment or if we just want to drill the studs. Small box here, the only real small parts that come with it are some additional length of pull spacers. So if you need to adjust the length of pull further, that's how you get those. The mag pulls propaganda as they like to call it. Basically it's a giant poster with all their products on it. Fairly basic instruction sheet gives you the info you need. Uh, one thing that I thought was interesting is you do actually have to remove the cheek piece to be able to get the bolt in. So that's not the most convenient way to attach it, but if you want to change your spacing, that would be a good time to do it. All right, so let's take a look at the bottom metal. So the bottom metal basically comes just like the short action one, uh, which I did do a video when I added the short action one to the Bentley Carlson stock that I have. Now, one of the big differences is obviously that this stock was actually made for it, so there's no machining, gunsmithing, alteration needed. So basically just slides right in there. There are basically metal sleeves inside where your action screws go 
so it keeps that metal on metal contact. There is a little bit of a space around the side where a hinged floor plate would take up a little more room, but it's not real noticeable and it is even and obviously factory cut that way so it doesn't look too bad. But that kind of gives you an idea, at least temporarily, what it's going to look like with that bottom metal attached. And then once again, the 30-06 here doesn't have anything for bottom metal. So when he was trying to decide whether or not he wanted to do the magwell, we actually would have had to buy something, a hinged floor plate, or we would have had to buy something to go along with this to get that to work. So that's part of the reason he went ahead and decided if he's going to drop some money, might as well add the magazine system. And these magazines are, of course, the Accuracy International pattern. We'll show you what they look like in there in a little bit. So they came out with a couple different sizes. You know, as I mentioned before, what I'm using on my 260 currently is the short action version. And then they came out with the long action version. And these long action magazines come in both a standard and a magnum. This is the standard, it's for your 30 out 6 class cartridges, and then the Magnum is for your 300 Win Mag class cartridges. So, if you're going to purchase the magazines, the Magwell, that kind of stuff, make sure you're getting what you really need based on your needs, since there are those different sizes. Alright, so that's a quick look of the coming out of the box and, and the basics of the stock. So let's go ahead and get it installed. shouldn't be a lot. Okay. Okay. Now, so this one needs to go to 55 to 60 inch pounds. So what I like to do is I like to work my way up. Okay. So it sh should be set at about 25. Yeah, roughly. So what you want to do is we want to make sure that the recoil lugs all the way back against the stock. Okay. And then we're going to tighten front then back and then increase the weight front then back okay. that should be it Everything looks aligned. Now I do think we're going to have to pull this off to take the your bolt out. Uh, 
probably should have had to check the length of pull first too to see if oh, you want to adjust that. Um, what I'll probably do is do that on the range when I'm shooting to see what's more comfortable. And right out. There we go. Yep. Mm -hmm. 